a very good day and welcome to a new lesson we are going to start with a new lesson today and the name of the lesson is environmental management so in today's lesson we are going to study how the environment around us affect our lives our mood how we stay you mean the entire lifestyle the planet everything around it so in environment first we are going to talk about the atmosphere atmos means something related to air so how does this atmosphere affect our daily lives living our life if we talk about the mood atmosphere which has the weather and climate yes weather and climate both are different things different terms rather and have different meanings so first we will set study what weather and climate is but before that you see the picture displayed on your screen how the atmosphere affect your mood some people like rain some people don't like rain so it affects your mood in a very drastic effective way so let us further study now atmosphere also plays a very crucial role in our lifestyle the way we behave our mood as mentioned earlier our houses our diet and everything whatever we do we are going to study this factors one by one now if you see i am mentioning another picture i am rather displaying it to you the clothes we wear we have different set of clothes to wear in summer in autumn in winter and spring summer clothes are quite light most probably light colored not black color because black absorbs heat more winter clothes are more thick so that it gives you proper heat to your body also you have rainy pair right now we are experiencing monsoon we have raincoats and gumboots and what not so seasons or the climate weather affect your clothes the wear you wear during the course of the climate or weather now what is this weather and climate and what is the difference between the two weather can ch- take about few minutes or hours to change and climate takes very long time to change now we will study this with the help of example now we are experiencing monsoon season in the morning it is quite bright and a sunny day and suddenly it changes to a rainy day a very heavy rainfall day so what is changed that is change in the weather so we often say that today our uh, today the weather is too hot or too cold so whatever statements that we make or whatever experience or opinions that we make that is related to the weather condition so if you are making a statement that the climate today is too hot or too cold remember the statement is wrong because what is changing that is weather so changing our little focus towards what is climate climate takes a very long time to change okay so you don't say that today's climate is very hot or cold climate is constant but if it changes it changes in a very slow period of time okay i am taking example which is now mentioning on your screen or, or displaying rather in on your screen okay so what clothes you wear for the day so if you see today's weather is sunny or rainy you take rainy clothes or a proper uh, loose cotton clothes that is uh, clothes for the weather and whatever clothes you have in your closet or wardrobe that usually defines your climate now how is that possible like if talking about my closet or my wardrobe i don't have of uh, skiing equipments or skating equipments because where we live in the coastal regions we do there it does not 
have any hailstones or snow or anything such so our climate in the coastal region is hot and humid so that's all about climate and weather so here are some examples of types of weather uh, sunny weather or cloudy weather rainy weather thunderstorm hailstones snowy weathery which has lot of winds tornado rainbow and many such things many 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 types of weather to be specific and over here if you see indian weather or indian season we what we have over here is winter spring summer autumn monsoon early autumn or early winter because our uh, india is a peninsula peninsula means surrounded by three sides on water so we have hill stations and coal regions like kashmir and we also have deserts like rajasthan so that is about the weather of india now if you see the climate of india hot and dry warm and humid moderate composite cold and windy or cold and sunny depending on the place you stay and if you talk about our state or particularly where we stay in mumbai we have hot and humid climate and if we have rainfall it is usually a heavy rainfall so these are the factors that are related to weather or climate temperature if the temperature is high or low atmospheric pressure sunlight clouds humidity rainfall and visibility these factors determine how the weather or climate is going around since weather and climate are interrelated or they are dependent on each other you can say now for example if you take about the factor rainfall we are often experiencing this thing of untimely rainfall sometimes nowadays you you just experience this thing that uh, it has been raining sometimes in wind or uh, winter season so because of climate change the weather is getting affected or you can also say that the rising temperature in these years if you see climate change is causing a weather change so these factors are also interrelated to each other so now as we know we have different planets okay in our universe and in our solar system rather so as i rather i'm taking now example of different types of rain so as we know it rains water on earth it rains methane on titan which is the moon of jupiter so these are the different atmosphere or different climate or weather including the atmospheric pressure rain types of oxygen levels heat it is very cold in on jupiter and saturn while it is very hot on mercury planet so these are different types of atmosphere on other planets rather right now we will just focus what type of climate our planet earth has so on earth it is sunny you have thunderstorms wind or you have snow hailstones beyond that you do not find any other climate type anywhere on the earth on planet earth beyond this there is nothing and based on that you have different zones as well okay you have savanna in africa and you have tropical jungles desert regions in sahara and you have conifers and coal regions in the polar regions so based on that even our lifestyle is affected the type of houses we stay is that also matters you have sloping roof if there is lot of snow and rainfall so the water slips away and many such things that you all have studied in the lower classes in 5th and 7th standard so here are some indicators that tell us how the climate is changing because the climate change occurs very slowly so some are indicators given to us or we can see how the climate changes i will explain to you with the example of one that is glaciers now now many of you must have been hearing this thing the melting of polar ice caps due to rising temperatures so you see so surf, sea surface temperature rising temperature over the oceans these all are affected and because of which 
the polar regions ice caps melt which indirectly gives rise to sea levels increase in sea levels so which gives a clear picture of what earth we want and what earth the earth actually is turning so this is like the red flag to us of what we should do and not do which we are going to study further in this lesson of how to save our planet and one of the indicator of climate change is rise in temperature and 2019 has been marked as the warmest year on the record and th this won't stop temperature will keep on rising so we need to take action to control the climate change so climate change also affects what kind of clothing we have diet i'm taking example of rajasthan in our uh, country itself which is a desert the clothes the people wear are usually bright colored they don't wear dark colors like gray or black and they wear turban to protect their head from strong heat of the sun and the clothing is made up of cotton and it, it is very light because the temperatures are really high on the contrary if you take the temperature of Kashmir which is very low very cold people over there wear clothes made up of wool and turban to protect themselves from the cold okay so there you see the clothes are also dark in colors and houses in Kashmir the houses are made up of wood usually the wood that is available in the conifers and uh, the slope over here the roof is sloping so that the snow flows down so that was about Kashmir and the houses in Rajasthan are usually made up of mud because the houses made up of mud usually acts as a cooling agent because the temperatures are really really high okay so it does affect your climate affects your way of lifestyle it also affects the trees in short the plantation an example the best example i would like to give over here is because we are cutting trees deforestation the temperatures are increasing because trees absorb lot of carbon dioxide during photosynthesis so it does affect the climate change and the microorganisms so as we had studied in the previous lesson harmful and useful microbes so even some microbes are aerobic and some are anaerobic so uh, what happens due to high climate or if there is lot of heat the temperature is very high rocks break into small pieces and microbes play a very important role in formation of organic materials okay decomposition and many such things so even microbes get affected due to climate change now coming towards a very interesting topic that is meteorology meteorology means it is the science that studies atmospheric phenomena especially those related to weather and to study that there are various stations adopted at various places and people who study these theses or these theories are called as meteorologists so they study this meteorology with the help of various elements like cloud rain wind humidity and various instruments the first world meteorological organization was established by united nations on 23rd march 1950 and it plays an important role in food security, water management, transport and communication. We will, we will now study what the functions meteorological departments do. But we also have Indian Meteorological Department that is established in Shimla in the year 1875. There are various instruments used in a meteorological department like rain gauge to measure the rain, wind vane apparatus and many such things to measure wind, temperature, pressure of air. You must have seen such things in your news channel deporting what 
type of climate you have today what type of weather it will be most importantly nowadays we have also experienced various types of cyclones like maha nisarga coming through our way so such things are being alerted to us by various such meteorological departments this picture on your screen is the satellite image of the cyclone maha so it does make readings and predictions about heavy rainfall where it is going to be heavy rains we are many times we are warned about such things snowfall hailstones tornadoes dust storms occurring tsunami because of which many such incidents could be handled in a better way so that we can take predictions and precautions it also helps in the communication of aviation and shipping industries if you have bad weather the flights don't take off and this is done with the help of satellite so that's all folks we are done with one part of the lesson keep studying and keep